Towards checkmating the increasing wave of insecurity by bandits, insurgents, financial fraudsters and kidnappers through hacking and interception of modern communications outlets, which is costing the nation huge losses, the Office of the National Security Advisor has commenced a two-day cyber security sensitization for stakeholders in the finance and capital market sector. The workshop is meant to provide information, strengthen cyber security governance and coordination, and to build the capacity of relevant stakeholders on their responsibilities under the national cyber security policy and strategy. The launching of the National Cyber Security Awareness Campaign is one of the key initiatives in transit, and that is what we're doing. The first one is to sensitize the stakeholders how and what they need to do the strategy itself. The next stage is to sensitize the public the best practices, cyber hygiene and order. In his introductory remarks, the pioneer director of cyber security, office of the national security advisor, Basil Idotai, urged critical stakeholders in cyber security to propose specific legislation as needed to mainstream cyber crime and cyber security in their various industries. Cyber crime is a technology law because it is a criminal law that is meant to address undesirable conduct in cyberspace or within technology environment. And so it's, it's advisable that the language in the Cyber Crime Act be technology neutral. Because if you adopt technology specific language, what you are doing is you are dating the law, the law, you are trapping the law in time. So that once technology changes, the law itself will become inoperative. People who are not connected professionally and technically to a subject matter generally they shouldn't get involved. But specific to cybercrime and cybersecurity, these are technical issues. If you're not a lawyer that understands technology law, you shouldn't be involved in cybercrime. Uh, you're going to deprive society of the benefit that the law would have given to society. Shagun Olubile, member, Cybercrime Advisory Council, explains the expected deliverables, projected timelines, and key performance indicators as required in the action plan for the strategy implementation. The two main issues being addressed from the context of that uh, national cyber security program, the, uh, the one that has to do with cyber crime law, which is to review, because there's a process already in place to review cyber crime law to address emerging challenges of crime. And the second one is to provide the opportunity where cyber security has now been elevated as a subsector. So I think in that context, yeah, and from the context of Nigerian you know, economic interest, I think uh, that is what uh, that program uh, is seek out to do. The importance of this sensitization for multi-stakeholders in the capital and financial sector cannot be overemphasized as it unites and strengthens collaborative efforts of different industries. The buzzword now in any boardroom is the biggest risk they have is cybersecurity. Any serious board right now who in the financial industry would, or not even for any board at all that is in the modern ways of doing business, uh, their biggest risk is cyber security. So we are not different and we believe that um, having this collaboration and stakeholder engagement uh, helps us to understand how they are doing it and also we would, they would understand how we are doing it and I believe that collaboration can only be best for Nigeria. For us as a country and with various things and as the country continue to um, increase in scope and uh, size, there is a need for us, for everyone on the road uh, and, and average Nigerians to understand how they can protect themselves in the digital space, what is the uh, expected behavior and what is not, and how their identity can be compromised on, on, on the internet. Cyber law acts as a shield over cyberspace, preventing cybercrime from reoccurring. The government is committed to developing and enforcing regulations to combat illicit online activities. Jumoke Adebari reporting for Captain Television News.